It's the Ask Go, Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Diddy. These lawsuits, KJ, they can't stop, won't stop, they okay? They can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Diddy has been hit with another lawsuit, man. This time from a producer on his 2023 album, Rodney, Lil Rod Jones Jr., who says he worked on Diddy's last album, The Love Album, Off the Grid, he is accusing Diddy of sexual assault and harassment, sex trafficking, and various other forms of misconduct. In one alleged incident from February 2023, Jones claims he woke up naked, dizzy, and confused in a bed with two sex workers and Mr. Combs at Diddy's home in Miami. And he believes he was drugged by Diddy, KJ. But that's not all. According to Fox News, Lil Rod also accused Diddy of sexually assaulting him and forcing him to perform sex acts with prostitutes. And he also accused Diddy of unsolicited groping and sexual touching of his penis. I did not expect to read that today. Oh, I did not expect I did not expect to say this today. <laughs> he claims Diddy touched his ass on multiple occasions and also described several scenarios of inappropriate work conditions. Now, I, did I cover everything, KJ? Is there anything else I'm missing out of this? Um, yeah, because it, it was a lot included in this. Right. Um, there is so one thing a lot of people are talking about. He also claimed that Diddy made him watch a video of Stevie J and another man. Oh. But then um, Stevie J, like, of course, like, what are you talking about? That's not, no. Because it's like a screenshot of the video that he included in the lawsuit. Oh. But, you, of course, Stevie J said it wasn't him. And then an adult film star actually came out and was like, that's not Stevie J, that's me. Oh, so there you go. <laughs> Stevie J's like, leave me the hell out of this. Right. <laughs> and um, Lil Rod also alleged that um, he was sexually assaulted by Young Miami's cousin. So now Young Dang. Miami's name is also in this lawsuit. Dang. Yeah. Oh, that, that's why I saw academics going in oh, on yeah, her on that's Twitter. Why, yeah. Academics having a field day on oh, Young yeah. Miami today. Remember, this is a lawsuit. It's not a criminal case. And it appears that Lil Rod seeks at least $30 million from Diddy. Diddy's lawyer has already responded, calling this lawsuit pure fiction. And Diddy's lawyer also claims we have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. I mean, how are they going to prove he didn't touch his <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how God. they're going to prove that. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, someone else dealing with some legal troubles. Kanye West. Yesterday he said Adidas was suing him for $250 million. And now he has another lawsuit. This time from Donna Summers Estate over an uncleared sample. I had a feeling uh, some lawsuits were coming over this album, KJ, because yeah. a lot of people were not happy that he was sampling different records now on Vultures. And, you know, Kanye, he tried to get around it by re-recording his own versions. But uh, apparently Donna Summers Estate said, oh, no, we're not going to let this slide. On the song Good, Don't Die, Donna Summers Estate claims they used uh, Donna Summers smash hit I Feel Love without getting it cleared. Uh, Donna's Estate uh, contacted Apple, Spotify, and other streamers uh, and told them to yank the song off Kanye's Vultures album. I looked right now, and I don't have it. It's yeah, gone. Yeah, I, I didn't have it. Especially no, like when the album it, came it, out, and they was talking about it, like it was it was gone. So I don't even see what's yeah, the point of the Yeah, I had it on there for a while, but it's gone now. If, if I'm looking at the track list right now, and uh, it was track 14, and track 14, gone. Yeah. So it goes 13 back, forgiveness, straight to 15, problematic. So track 14's gone. That was good. Don't die. Uh, Donna Summers Estate is asking for major damages and an injunction blocking further distribution of the song with the infringing sample. No word on how much money they're seeking from Kanye, but maybe he has to start selling those Yeezy Pots for more than $20. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else that may be facing some legal troubles, Taylor Swift, her dad, Scott Swift, is involved in a police investigation in Australia. According to Six News in Australia, Taylor Swift's father is being investigated by police for allegedly assaulting a paparazzi in Sydney. Sydney paparazzo Ben McDonald says he was punched in the face by Taylor Swift's father, Scott Swift. Now, I only seen like two different videos here, and nowhere in these videos did I see a punch being thrown. There's a little, definitely a little scuffle going on, but you can't tell, like, if it's her dad getting into it. You know what I mean? So... I don't know. You think uh, Taylor Swift's dad got hands, KJ? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> he might. He you might. Know what I'm he might. He might. Uh, Taylor Swift's rep told People Magazine in a statement, two individuals were aggressively pushing their way toward Taylor, grabbing at her security personnel, and threatening to throw a female staff member in the water. That's crazy. Oh, What's wow. up with these paparazzi in Australia? Tell them to calm down, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, Taylor Swift, she wrapped up her last performance in Australia. She's headed to Singapore on March 2nd, so they might as well just jump on that airplane right now, KJ. Let's go yeah. ahead and get about Australia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll see what happens with this. But uh, her dad being investigated. But the Swifties are already out. They have Scott's back. I already see uh, we stand with Scott Swift. Trendy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hey, for more episodes, follow my podcast wherever you listen to podcasts at Esco Let's Go. That's one word, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same, Esco Let's Go, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Thanks for listening.